So welcome everybody. Welcome to a new human experience podcast. Today is August the 19th, 2021. The topic for this evening is self-sourcing. So even before um, before I started the, the recording for, for this episode, we've been talking about what's happening. And so I just want to um, recap very briefly, and then I'll go on with why um, self-sourcing is so important. It's because there's, um, in this period of time, is um, a couple of things happened, and it happened in the last few years. It's kind of all leading up to it, is that um, the the whole planet, all of human uh, humanity came together. So why did I say that? It's because before, before the last couple of years, we've been quite fragmented in that uh, there is a, um, a few timelines going on. There's a timeline for people that wanted chaos to create more chaos. And then there is another timeline where um, part of humanity wanted to create more harmony. And then there's um, plenty like, so there's, there's been a few timelines where there are pockets of um, parts of humanity wanted to create something. And so the, it created a problem where we're working against one another. So our timelines are kind of all um, crisscrossed and interfering with each other. But a couple of years ago, um, maybe about two years ago, I'm talking about um, like 2019, around that time, that's when all of a sudden all of humanity just decided to come together, to just create one timeline, not a fragmented timeline. We, we, we decided that we're going to come together and um, we're going to come together in just one timeline. And so that's what happened. And because of that, so there's a lot of um, support for team humanity to go forward in just one, one unified timeline. And that's why all of these um, strange things started to happen. And if you, uh, like in 2021, if you look out in the, the world right now, you may see it as being chaos that there's so many things that just does not make sense. It's like, you know, what happened in the last couple of years? What happened? It seems like everything is falling apart, um, but that's only the surface. What's underneath it is because humanity came together. So all the timelines that has been fighting each other now is all emerged into one. So there is no more fighting energetically. And um, we are actually all creating with the same agenda going the same direction, which is um, luckily for humanity is going to be a brighter and better. So we, we really are very lucky we made it. So congratulations, we've all made it. But, but now the, the, the question is, we made it, but what is it that we made? We've made too. So what is it? And the good news is nobody knows. Nobody knows right now because we are making it up as we go along. And this is really the best case scenario because we, um, humanity has been so um, conditioned and um, so confused and so, um, I would say, disoriented and disconnected that we 
have been led very um, in a very in in a particular direction that is very contrary, very um, against our own nature. And so, however, the the um, because it is contrary to our own nature, that's why it is so, it's a concerted effort to make it so that it's holographically, it's imprinting the same message because that's the only way that it will, that this confusion is going to take root because otherwise, the, the, the natural organic power of being human would not accept it. If it had only been on one level, on, on only been, let's say only in education, for example, or only in government, or only in um, relationship, if it's just one aspect, we would have seen through this, the smoke and mirrors long, long time ago, but because it is in everything, it is in the literature, it is in how we um, pass on from generation to generation, it is in the, the um, medical system, it is in the educational system, because it is repeated on so many levels. That's why we, like over time, we got sucked into believing that the way we have lived as humanity is the natural way. And well, it is not. And we got to the part where now we, um, we have earned the opportunity to go back to who we are as a human being naturally, not as what it is that um, we've been conditioned and led to believe. So, but the confusion is that because we have been controlled and conditioned to be something that we are not for such a long time, that right now, even though we are no longer, um, under such a level of control that we, we didn't realize that we have the freedom to break free yet. We didn't realize it yet. And that's why even though we are now, we've made it, we didn't even know how to untangle ourselves from all of these, these um, the, the past thousands or decades of thousands of, of conditioning. So this is our task right now, is really to untangle ourselves because once we let go of all of these previous conditioning, once we let go of all of this, we would be able to reach in to who we truly are, which is creator source. We are, every one of us is a source being. So right now, our biggest task is really to get back to ourselves. Um, before we try to determine, you know, what the future may look like, the first thing is not to try to create things, the, the first thing is really to let go of all the conditioning because all the ideas that we can come up in this moment before we've done the work to let go of the illusion, all the ideas that we come up with right now is simply more, is simply a modified, uh, a modified conditioning it's not the real solution yet. So before we try to, um, um, before we try to really create is to come back to ourselves first. 
So that is our task. The, for example, let me give you a, an example of what do I mean by um, that we, we've been so controlled. For example, very, very recently, I have a very, um, uh, I had an experience where um, I think I've mentioned to some of you that I've been taking a class recently, and my intention is actually to um, create some modules or, or healing mandalas, because I, I fell in love with these mandalas. They are so beautiful, and, and because of the intentions that are embedded in the creation of these mandalas, and you can actually see with the, the, the picture that, that I've put on is that in the background, very faded background, you can see a mandala. So that is one of them that is, is really used for healing. And so when I, when I saw these mandalas, I really wanted to learn more about them and also to, to see if I can um, create some of these for my own use. Not to create, not to copy what have been created, but to actually channeled some new ones that uh, that has never been done before um, so that that was my intention but in order for me to do that I have to actually need some um, applications in order to assist me in creating these mandalas so I um, there is this one program that's called symmetry lab and it's available for a free download. However, it needs a certain kind of um, hardware that right now my laptop is, is not capable of um, being able to use it, even though I can download the, the, the application um, and it's free, I can't, it won't function for my laptop because my laptop is, not a, a Macintosh. Um, it, so it's, it's, it needs a, a, a different kind of, um, it's, it was written for a different kind of operating system. So it's like, I've gone through all these 10 weeks. I'm totally in love with the modules and I really want to do it. And then when I actually go and find the programs to be able to allow me to do it. I came to a, a, um, a, a big brick wall that I cannot seem to get through. And so what are the options? The options is I have to either um, I have to buy a, I have to buy some new equipment in order to do that. But then like in my mind, all these all these other um, issues came up. Well, it's, you know, to buy new equipment is quite expensive. And like, I, I don't mind spending the money. However, am I really sure that I'm going to um, commit to doing this? Because if I know for sure that I would commit to do this, then I'm quite sure I it's worth the investment and I can come up with the money. So all of these, the you know, whole slew of, of um, roadblocks started coming up. And, and so the, the way I focused my attention on solving the problem was like the old way that I've been conditioned to is, well, you don't have the right equipment, so you buy the, the right equipment. So. And I actually, um, that is the, 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 the most simplest route. And that is usually the route that we would go is to, you know, in, when in doubt is to throw money at it and, and to buy something because that's the consumerism um, agenda that, you know, yeah, all of this. And so I've created this roadblock for myself in my mind. And, and 
And that was me trying to solve something with the old mentality. So when I really got present that, oh, okay, I'm not thinking out of the box. And, and so then I just cut back, just, just hold myself back and really come back to myself and check in. So what do I really need? in order to make a choice i don't have the i don't have all the information that i need right now so how do i get all the information i need in order for me to make a decision to buy um, new equipment or not so when i come back to myself when i really took the time to pause and come back to me I, I realized that, well, you know, there are so many ways to create these mandalas. I actually, I can do it by freehand. I actually don't need a, um, a, a program, a computer program to do it for me. I can actually create them by hand. I can draw because I do have um, the equipment to, to, to draw it by freehand. So when I, when I let go of the need that I need this, this computer program and I need all the, 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 the physical equipment in order to allow me to use this program, when I let go of the need, I was able to get out of the box and actually new options starting to come up. And I was able to actually find another program that um, I can use just with the, the, the laptop that I have right now and with all the, the, what I have right now in order to just start to explore whether I like making these, whether I actually would enjoy making these mandalas, these healing mandalas. So that is what I mean by the fact that um, when we try to solve problems and we come at it from an old or um, from, um, e from, from one of the most um, commonly used mindset, then what we have come up with may not be something that is supportive of where it is that we want it to really go to. And so I actually had a good example of self-sourcing to come back to myself and really get a sense of, do I have all the information that I need in order to make a choice, in order to create a solution for myself. And when I took that time to come back to myself, I actually created a solution that I, I didn't even know existed when I started out. So that is really what we need to do, what I suggest that each and every one of us needed to do is to pause and to not get drawn into this drama that um, I don't have what I need right now or, or that you know, there is a problem and I don't know how to solve it because I am looking at a solution that is outside of myself. We actually have the solution all within us is that we, we have everything that we need within us. And no matter where this, like either I find out that, you know, after using this new solution I have, I actually started working at um, 
trying to create my own mandalas and, and really going through that process. And the only way for me to really know to get the, the information that I don't have now is to actually go through the process. Go through the process of exploring, to checking within, and to, um, because I know that the solution is there, is out there. I did not, I did not, um, I did not think that is something that is beyond my reach. I know that I can solve it. That is a knowing that I know that I can solve this. I just need, I just don't have all the information I need right now in order to solve it in the best way possible. So instead of rushing to solve the problem, I actually take the time to look at options and not just rush into getting to the, the, the solution because the solution when I'm in this mind frame of mind is most likely not going to be the, the best solution when I can actually shift out of thinking that I needed to create these um, mandalas because that's what will make me happy. And when I switch out of that, when I really tune into that, I really enjoyed these mandalas, these healing mandalas, these, uh, or they call it the, these modules. I really enjoyed these modules and I tune into the, the happiness and the, um, and the reason why I want to pursue this. Then I, I actually came to the right vibration, the right um, frame of mind for me to actually start to look for a way to allow me to solve whatever issues that I managed to come up with for myself. And so how do we create from where we are now? So going back to where um, humanity is now. Humanity is, we are on one, everybody, all of humanity is on one timeline. And this timeline is not fixed in any way because some of the other timelines has a, um, an end game that's created. So it's this kind of marching to a certain direction. But the timeline that we are on right now, that, that humanity is on right now has no predetermined direction, no predetermined, um, nobody knows what it looks like. And we are all have the opportunity to put in whatever it is that we would love to experience. And that is the best part of it, is that it's open source, it's all open. It's the, it's the best. However, it's also the most scary because we have not had this experience. We have not had this amount of freedom for the longest time. And that's why there's so much fear because everybody um, is in fear mode because we don't know how to create with no, um, how sh what's, what's the word I'm looking for? We don't quite know how to create from nothing because we've always had something, um, we always had a, a model. So we always have our parents or someone else 
they have done something that we think, oh, it's really cool. That person has you know, created um, this life for themselves. I like it. So I'm going to try to create a similar life for myself. And I'm going to copy what they do and model after them. So that's what we have been always done. And that's why um, we came to where we are. We, we've actually given away our power because we think that someone else is living a, a better version of life than we could possibly create for ourselves. So we actually gave, gave away our power. We think that, oh, okay, money must be good because you know rich people can live in all these things and, and everybody think that they have such a cool life and because everybody thinks so, then it must be true. So I'm going to make lots of money because everybody thinks that that's a cool thing. However, um, that really is taking us away from who we are because not everyone is here to live in the, that, that big house, to have that kind of career. Um, and we, we didn't know that. We did not trust ourselves enough to look at what it is that our soul is actually here to experience, here to learn. We always think that the grass is greener on the other side. And we've lost that. We've completely lost sight of who we truly are and that's and so the first thing that we need to learn in order to be really effective to create from nothing because that's what humanity is doing now is that we like all the existing systems have been designed to do something else something that we don't want to do, something that is, is designed to take us to an end game that we no longer agree to go to. And that is why we've been given this chance to take all of that out, to restart. And we cannot restart from the old mindset because we create from our mindset. And if we do not reclaim our own mindset first, then, and if we create before we've done that inner work, then we are simply going to repeat what we have done before. We may have, we may have been able to avert some obvious disaster, but it's still slowly taking us towards the same direction. We need to, before we even start to build um, the new structure, is to actually switch our mind, is to come back to who we are, to completely detox all of that programming, all of that um, training to, to give our power away, to get to the point where we come back to ourselves, we come back home to ourselves. And that's why the theme for this evening is self-source because um, it's important that we source from ourselves. We cannot look outside. The reason why we have created what we have, the, the experience that we have created is because we did not look inside ourselves. It's because we listened to authorities outside of ourselves. 
because we listened to um, the fear within ourselves. We listen to the limitations or the old beliefs within ourselves. And so the first step now is to come back to ourselves first. So how do you go back to yourself? Is this, is to understand this one thing is that you have all you need within yourself. Each and every one of us, we have everything that we need within ourselves. And anytime you feel that you need something that you don't already have or have access to easily, then you are um, giving your power away. And know this and really understand what this means. And really, I'm pausing for, um, for dramatic, um, really to underline this very emphatically, very powerfully, is that we have all we need within us. We have all the answers within us. And we have been trained and conditioned to listen to our elders, listen to our teachers, listen to authorities, and this stops now. You have all the answers, you have all that you need within yourself. Does not matter whether you are three months old or whether you are 90 years old does not matter how old you are how young you are how capable you are or how incapable you think you are is that each and everyone without exception has everything that we need already and the things that we don't need, that we don't have, that we still need, it is easily accessible to us. And that is a fact. And if you don't believe this, then you need to examine why, what makes, what belief system have you adopted that makes you think otherwise because it is not true you have everything that you need you know all that you need to know in this moment and in the next moment you may need to know something else and when you need to know it you will know it especially now now that we have a connection. Every one of us have this connection with our higher self. We can actually download information. We have not done it for eons, but we can do it. We have to start to do it. We have to start to source from ourselves because the cost of not sourcing from ourselves is to give away our power, which is fine if you know that that is what you're doing. If you consciously choose to give away your power, that is perfectly okay, but don't do it because you unconsciously, you, because you, you are not aware that you actually have the answers. So this is what I really want each and every one to know that is to know, not just to believe me, but to actually check in with yourselves, to start to, 
tune inward. Don't just trust me saying this because, hey, I could be, um, I, I could be lying to you. So if you really feel that you want to examine this, if you really feel you want to test this out, please do so. Start to check within yourself, no matter who tells you anything, don't listen. Don't take anyone else's word for it. Not me, not Franco, not your government, not your doctor, no one else. Whatever it is that you want to know, go and do the research yourself. And after you've done the research, check within, check, connect to your higher self and see if what you have found resonates with your higher self. And if it does not, ask your higher self, what is missing? How can I find the information that I need to find? Cultivate that communication with your higher self and demand, really know that you can. You can have that level of communication. You can have that level of clarity. And demand that. Don't take no for an answer, not even from your own higher self, because <clears throat> you never know whether it is your higher self talking to you or whether it is um, some other entity that has infiltrated you to confuse you. Because if you are talking to your own higher self, your higher self will give you the advice, the information that you need to know in order to support you. That's what the higher self's job is. That's their job. That's all they are here to do. And if they are not giving you the information, then you need to find out why not. And there may be a very valid reason. Maybe you're asking for something that you don't need to know right now. And when you need to know, then you will know. So, but until you ask, you don't know. So you have to create that communication with your higher self is to know that you already have all that you need. And you can have all that you want when it is the right time for you to have it. It's not just that you have all that you need. You actually can have all that you want as well. It is just that you may not be able to have what you want right now. There is from the, the time that you want something to when you actually have it, there may be a time space lack. There may be a, um, you may have to find and learn some information, some extra information in order for you to be able to have what you want. So you can always check in with your higher self. What do I need to know? What do I need to learn? Who do I need to be in order to have what I want? So I'm not talking about, okay, you can only have what you need, the bare bones. And wanting what you want is a luxury. So you can't have luxury. No, that's not what I'm saying. I'm saying that you can have, you definitely have what you need already. If you need it, you will have it. 
already, or if not already, it's easily accessible to you. And you can always have what you want as well, just not right now. There is always, there is most likely going to be a, a gap between where you are and what you want. So what you need to figure out is what do you need to know in order to get to the space and time where you can have what you want. And you can figure that out by asking your higher self. Your higher self is going to assist you. Okay, if you want to know this information, you need to talk to XYZ, for example. And then it is up to you to make those conversations or not. So that is like your, your higher self will let you know what's your next step. And you still have to go and tick the steps to do the work. So that's, that's all it is that we need to, to do right now is to be connected with who we are in every moment, to be connected with ourselves, to to really understand that um, we don't lack anything that we need. We really don't. Everything that we need is already here for us in this moment. And if we think we need something that we don't already have, then there is um, you know that there is a, a lie somewhere. Somehow you have, someone has convinced you, most likely yourself, you convince yourself that you needed this person or this thing in order to be complete, in order to be happy, in order to feel safe. So you have to look at those things that you, that somehow you convinced yourself that you needed them in order to be happy. You needed, um, you needed to have this thing in your life in order for you to be happy. You needed this person's approval in order for you to be happy. The fact is no. You don't. You just convince yourself that you need that, but you don't. So look into the things that you need to have, but you don't. Because those, when you look into those, when you look underneath the stones, when you turn that stone up, you would find some misguided beliefs there. And it's up to you whether you want to let go of those beliefs or you just want to keep them around and be okay with not having what you need just know that it's a choice. Choose that. Choose to feel incomplete. Make that a choice. And don't assume that it is and hang on to all those beliefs and make yourself miserable because it is really a choice. It is not the truth. The truth is something that will always be true. And what's always true is that um, is that we actually have everything that we need already.
and to really realize that this is a really a game and we are shifting the way we are going to play this game and to understand one thing is that um, you always have a choice to play the game according to someone else's rules or not. And that actually each game has its own logic. Every game has its own logic. And when you figure out the logic, then you realize that the game needs you to play it. But you are above and beyond the game. That in, you don't need to play the game according to the logic of the game. When you realize who you truly are, when you come back to yourself, you know, you remember that you don't need the game. The game needs you to play it in order for it to be continued, to be um, relevant. But you don't need the game. You are always eternally relevant. And you simply choose to play the game according to the logic of the game, or you can actually choose to play the game and make up your own rules. And this is the opportunity that we are being given right now is that we are being given freedom. We can have freedom to create whatever we want. Nothing is, there is no end. There's no goal. And humanity, everyone within humanity is free to make up the rules of the game. The only condition is that the rules of the game has to work for everyone, not just for you, but for everyone. So that is the new game now, the new game. So I just want to, to sum it up is that consciousness is, is real. Consciousness is actually the only thing that is real. Um, your identity is not real. Who you think you are right now is not real. So we have a lot of identities. I have the identity of I'm Winnie. So that's an identity. I'm a mother. That is another identity. I'm a daughter. That is also another identity. I'm a citizen. That's another identity. But all of these is not real. And when I realize that none of these is real, I don't have to play any of that game. I don't have to be, I don't have to act as a mother. I don't have to act as a daughter because a mother, the identity of a mother has certain things. The identity of a daughter has certain things attached to it. And as long as I identify myself as those things, I am subject to those, to that, the rules of those identities. But when I know that these identities is simply like clothing, a piece of clothing, if I choose to wear it, then I choose to wear it. But I don't have to. And the more of the identities these false identities that you can let go of, 
and the better it's going to be. The easier it is going to be for you to create from nothing, to source from yourself, to get all the answers to yourself and really get to know who you truly are, who this consciousness that you have been seeing reality from truly is. And when you let go of all the other false identities and go back to the consciousness, the only part of you that is real, the more you can let go of these other identities, you're no longer subject to those rules. And when you're no longer subject to those rules, you can make up your own rules. You can make up your own identity. I can create an identity that I am an alien from a different planet, that I'm here as a guide to humanity. to assist humanity to make this transition from playing in third density to transition now to fourth density. That's an identity that I can create and I can see reality from this new identity for as long as it feels interesting for me to and when it's no longer interesting for me to see reality from this identity then i can shift this identity i can change it to something else to anything else that i want and that is the freedom that we have now so Remember that, that only consciousness, only your awareness is real. None of the other identities are real. And that you have everything that you need right now. What you don't have, you don't need. Unless you created the idea that you actually needed them. And also know that it's a choice. So choose what you want. You can also have when you have all the knowledge you need in order to have it. So check within to find out how to get the knowledge that you need in order for you to have what you want and know that you deserve to have what you want. It's a matter of time before you get what you want. And in the meantime, be happy and enjoy the journey of creating a story for you to have what you want to have. So come back to yourself. That really is all the most important thing or the most important practice that you need to concentrate on. Because when you come back to yourself, when you really get to be able to source from yourself, to create from yourself, to create from consciousness from your consciousness then you have access to everything that you need and that's all i have to say on self-sourcing <laughs>